Morning, guys. What's going on? Hope all is well. Going to a weird call. I'm going to a call that it's, it was supposed to be a one-year inspection. So that means the system's been running for a year. Um, with that being said, in the directions, it says customer wants system rewired. So, of course, I did my research, checked the history, called dispatch, why, says it's working. He wants it rewired because the thermostat wire looks crushed. I don't know why. I have no idea until we get there. We'll see what's up on video, but I mean... I don't understand entitlement. I, I mean, if the system's working, I mean, maybe he stepped on it. I have no idea why the thermostat wire is crushed. Supposedly in the attic or upstairs. Where I think it's the upstairs unit, it says. So, anyway, we'll see what it is when we get there. I'm going to try to get some conversation on on video, too. Because give it some background dialogue. Because I'm even lost on this one as far as what's going on so don't take my word for it until we get there could have been our fault i don't know i mean it's been it's still working i'm supposed to be doing a one-year inspection system works thermostat wire looks crushed i want it rewired what like all right see what this character is all about seems like a real gem based on my notes we'll find out what's the deal um you want to show you guys are doing a checkup tuna yep and last time you guys were here uh, we made a fire with you what we made a fire okay and about it it wasn't hooked up the last time you were here okay Uh, and then I think lastly, there is a uh, thermostat wire upstairs. It's going to squish in between the boards and the joists. Uh, so I'm going to drill through the joists to so pull through. Uh, so, what are we doing? That's what we're doing. Pull the wire through the joists? Okay. Pull the wire through the joists, uh, check the humidifier, make sure everything's working, and then just. Uh, Tune up since this, uh, since this is coming out. Yeah, it's not going to be a tune up, just an inspection. One year inspection. Alright, cool. Let's check it out. My name's Paul. Yep. The two ton air handler up here. Yep. The two ton air handler downstairs. Okay. This was the wire that got squished. Got squished from the boards. It went back, so. Okay. Uh, okay. I drilled through it for you. So you cut out, you cut this out? Either disconnect it. Where do you want me to run the wire? Right through here. No, to to where? Oh, to I guess where this one. Where that ends right there? Let's see. So you just want me to cut and splice? Well, I guess if you can If you can That's all you drilled to, right? Right. So, here, and then from here it goes into the wall. Yeah. I guess it, if you if you're disconnected from there. Yeah. No, I know how to do it. I'm, it my it my still, question. It still works. Yeah, I'm gonna disconnect it from the the equipment. Right. My question is, where are you? We I, where are we gonna terminate it? Because that board's not lifted, but you have a hole there. Uh, okay. And then right there, you want me to make my wire nuts, my connections. Um. You can make it anywhere from between here and where the wire is down. According to you, you just want this wire inside the the inside, holes. Inside, so I can put the board over it. Okay. Without squishing the wire. So, but we need to get that that end wire under that other board so you could do that. So you clean that up. I'll start here. Here's your electrical tape. I mean your uh, measuring tape. What does the electrician did? <laughs> he had an electrician coming. 
Look up his disconnect, he told me. Downstairs to the breaker and turned it off. So as you see, you know, that's still the same as it was. So he's got to call back his electrician. I don't know why he had a separate electrician to we we'd usually just throw a disconnect in. But maybe because it was here and he didn't want it. He wanted it there. Who knows? I mean it has the the door for that, but whatever. Let me run this new wire. I gotta bring it up, out, down, and over. I'm gonna cut it there so I can leave everything wired. So when I run my new wire from back there. Not reinventing the wheel. I'm gonna run downstairs and grab him some new wire. Because this is uh He did this. I gotta open that. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's an old wire now. Okay, I'm gonna bring the new wire. That's what I'm gonna do, actually. Watch this. Two utes. The two what? The two utes. Just to miss that wire. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna run some new wire. Bring it all in his floor joists and back up to where it was simple enough my red my yellow it's my rib relay orange it's just dead that stays there so my white there stays inside for dry humidity Okay, so all we're gonna need is red, yellow, white, orange. Um, that should be a wrap, and then blue. Okay, so I'm using my yellow, my orange, my white, my red, my green, my blue. So wire nut him here and run brand new wire under there. So this way he could put his floorboard back. Um, I don't think they did anything wrong by just running the wire on top of the board. I mean, it's, I see that in attics all the time, but some people have their preferences. It's cool with me. Let me go grab some wire. And I pull this out. I'm wire for wire this. But like I was saying before, you have your orange. Um, brown and black aren't used. Your yellow, your red, your blue, your common, and then you have your green for your fan. And that's a Rizap. So white, yellow, orange, blue, red, green. Simple. Yellow if I didn't say it. Uh, let me go over and get some real wires. I'm gonna run a whole new set. So, fucking sure not. Ducted Duckless. I like him. Ducted Mini. Problem, guys. You guys better vote tomorrow. Not that it's going to help any, but. Because, and I say that with all seriousness, it's just, uh, it's just crazy because when you start to see stuff like that, made in China, China. President, why do you keep calling it the China virus? Because it's from China.
just like Lyme's disease is from Lyme, Connecticut. I'm, I don't think I'm really going to need the staples. Maybe one or two for the top part where it comes down. But I will need zip ties. Throw some of these fuckers in there. Okay. And they're for Romex. But that's all the uh, supply house had for today. Okay, this. 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 brought it down this hole here instead of that one because that way it comes straight down and then in and then we're gonna pull it all the way across all the way brought it down over 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 here's my excess we're gonna connect right here to our existing that goes to the thermostat so this is my unused here and this is my unused here so these two are unused. I'm just going to wrap them. Never know. In the future. They might, or they need like a second common wire for when they make thermostats like fly or something. You never know, but whatever. So here's my wire. Fan, common, yellow, white. I'm good here. Okay. And then we're gonna connect to these exact colors. And we're gonna be golden, child. Zip tie to secure it because, again, he's gonna be messing with nails. So we'll put it down, I'll put it straight. But I mean, we'll zip tie it to a good so it's strong like that zip tie it down and then I'm going to throw a little electrical tape on the ends of the wire nuts even though they're tight as heck and I pulled against them but
it's on him to start nailing his boards down. I'm not, I'm not a carpenter. I'm a good guy, but I'm not a carpenter. I try to be a good guy anyway. Right. Now we're going to go over to the ducted mini air handler. Forgot they have line voltage coming in. So you need your disconnect outside to be off in order to kill power in here. That's why uh, I, when I first got up here, I didn't realize it was a ducted mini. So outside, we're going to have a mini split condenser. It's got two air handlers, so you're going to have two fans on it, two coils. But uh, let me wire this back up now. Continue this wire, bring it up in, zip tie it up. Bring it up, through, straight up to the top of the air handler. I'm going to pull it in. And then bring it into my control board. Nice. So this way the panel could go on. The wires into the control board. And now I just have to bring it home. And that's wired up it's neat it comes in there's extra slack if it ever needed it but uh, i'm gonna have the guys downstairs put the power on at the disconnect at the uh at the breaker and power downstairs let's see it starts up it's gotta go down a couple flights i'm just cleaning up zip ties old zip ties old wire go buddy boy all right so now i'm gonna go downstairs and just check operation and uh i gotta put that back on but there's this floorboard that's that was raised so it's thermostat wire comes down over and there i might even mark it in case a technician ever has to come in the future i'm not a big fan of doing that to be honest with you but uh well actually where this hole is right here is marked I'll tell them to mark it. Hi, good night. Let's go check operation downstairs. Ducted mini. A ducted mini split. I like them. Sometimes. That's a choke. Carrier. Oh, that's it cool right now. Yep, that's what I want. It's cooling. I'm going to bring it down a little low, okay? Let's go. the carrier um mini outside for this this unit in the upstairs like i said it's a double fan this humidifier control has to be replaced i just put the pull power off it, it's on e error code e3 error code e3 tells me that if you put it to test and then you bring it back after five seconds um right here and then you come over here, you you right here to rotate humidifier control, test reset, position. After five seconds, this green humidifier will blink, which it does, resetting the error. If E3 returns, replace the humidifier control. So I'm gonna order that, model 62. And let's go outside and check uh, our operation now. These things fully blasted. Power right there. That's all steam humidifier. 
Filter's good. Um, let's go upstairs, see what it is. What it is. Yeah, let's go. Get that light. How many times I forgot this thing at someone's house? And you know you can never put one heat and one cool, right? Right. Okay. You know, you'll be surprised how many calls we get for that. <laughs> My heat's not working well because the other thermostat's on. China. China. 2021. Let's see. Summertime, I don't usually uh, wrap this up like this, but very rarely I'm using, well, not very rarely, I use heat pumps too, but. When I need it, it's just take it out like this. Everybody was kung flu fighting. Sixteen in cooling. It's dead on, if you ask me, on these inverters. So let's let it run, and uh, then we'll check the other condenser. Not that it really matters, but one seventeen point eight. We go for the other one. Be the same, it should be the same. I just 115.6, let it climb, see where it comes out. Carrier made in China, you know. I, uh, I think Samsung makes the boards and shit. You know, it's the country's fucked. They're nice units, so I gotta say, but yeah, so that disconnect right. This disconnect right here is what powers the inside. Well, 14.3. Ran for 10 minutes. That guy's good. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm just going to check my temperature coming out of my supply. 
going into my return. And uh, this is going to be a good thing. This is really just a thermostat call with an inspection for a year. But uh, the thermostat, I guess, he wanted really done. But he gets the inspection done anyway when we do a new install. Can we go inside and check your uh, supply temperature, if you don't mind? After I clean up some tools. Clean this fucking truck, man. Tells you everything, doesn't it? Right, let's go see what this is all about. Notice those eco bees inside. Carrier, I think, bought them out. When you start them up, they say carrier. I, I heard that a long time ago. I just didn't speak on it because I wasn't sure. But yeah, I think carrier bought out eco bee. Hopefully, they just get a little. They weren't always the most user friendly, but I guess once you get used to them, they're good. But it is a carrier product now, kind of like Nesta's Google. Amy, okay. Amy. Amy, can we? Uh, can I go to this supply over here on the floor if you don't mind? I just want to check the air coming out. Thank you. Well, yeah, I just don't like to walk around. What's the temperature in the house right now? I, oh, standing temp. 73, that's beautiful. 20 degrees. 73, so that's good. Uh, yeah, well. Leaving the temperature higher, yeah. I think that's debatable. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why, on a hot day, the a if it's 100 degrees outside, you keep it at 72 or 68, it's still going to run just as much. Anyway. That's why I say it's debatable. I don't I don't know the answer to it. I think that for this house in particular, because it's... it's that it loses... It's just, <laughs> I think with heating, that's a real thing. But with AC, I, I, unless it's 80 degrees outside, fine. Now you're lowering it to 60-something. Right. That Then you're wasting. But when it's yeah, when those I mean, August the, days... The, the difference between keeping it cooler and the actual temperature outside is less than... Heating. Exactly, a lot less, especially with the system you have out here. That thing pulls like four amps, five amps. It's crazy. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But, uh, let me run upstairs. I just want to check up here. <laughs> so, guys, this is the upstairs um, air handler that we fixed the thermostat wire on. So now we're just checking the supply here. Yeah, and he said it was seventy-three. Will you mind? Do you mind looking on that thermostat to tell me the standing temp? 72, okay. And now it's says 71. 71, oh. That's good. Guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, I've been watching... This is like a personal thing, but I've been watching a lot of like motivational like stuff on YouTube. There's this channel, um, it's called Character is Destiny. It's like a lot of YouTube shorts, but check it out. Um, it's unbelievable. It, it, literally, some, some videos are like 14 seconds, some are 20. But the stuff that's being said in those short clips or youtube shorts is amazing check it out you um i don't know the person i'm just inspired by it. he's got a lot of like it's got just like sayings from you, you get denzel in the background i mean music it's about like never giving up in life it's about getting out there don't you just just all the stuff that everybody goes through that this guy's good check him out character is destiny i don't know the actual youtube handle but just type in character is destiny. I don't think there's any spaces. Um, check it, check it out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, guys. Have a great day. Um, two ducted minis. Carrier. Not bad. Take it easy.